Hi everyone, let's talk about the sum of a row of Pascal's triangle. So let's draw out Pascal's triangle, a few rows of it. We have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And I think that should be good enough for now. So what we want to do is, first of all, label the rows so that we, we have numbered them properly. So you have row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, and so on. So we have until we have row n. And actually, we keep going because Pascal's triangle has infinitely many rows. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find the sum of each row. So the sum of this row is just 1, the sum of this row is 2, the sum of this row is 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is 4, the sum of this row is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 which is 8, this row is 16, this row is 32, and in general it looks like the sum of row n is 2 to the power of n. So that's what we're going to try to prove. We're going to try to prove that rho n has sum 2 to the power of n. Now, there are a few ways of doing this. One is using Pascal's uh, identity or Pascal's recursion. It's just to notice that in each row, to go to the row below, we copy two copies of it. So if you have two copies of each element of the previous row, then 2 to the n minus 1 leads to 2 to the n. And that's simple enough. But I, I want to actually focus on a couple of other kinds of proofs because those are, in some sense, more important because they come up more frequently. So uh, this recursive kind of proof is less common. And what's more common are, first of all, commit, committee forming proofs, which are otherwise known as combinatorial arguments. And the other one is an algebraic proof, and I'll show that to you in a second. So what we're going to do for this one is double count. So count something in two ways. Double count number of elements of the power set of a set S that has n elements. So if we have n elements in a set, then we know that its power set is cardinality 2 to the power of n. So that's the cardinality of the power set. Another way of doing it is by doing casework on the number of elements in the subset. If there are zero elements, then there are n choose zero ways of choosing a zero element subset. If there's one element, then there's n choose one ways of choosing an, a one element subset. Then we have n choose two. And we keep going like this until we have n choose n. And these elements are precisely the elements of row n of Pascal's triangle. So that proves the identity which is which which also sums these row of a row of a Pascal's triangle. Uh, the final proof that I want to show you has to do with it's called an algebraic proof. So it's not quite as insightful as a combinatorial proof that we showed but it's still useful in cases where we don't know how to find a combinatorial proof. And what this proof says is that by the binomial theorem, it holds that 2 to the power of n is equal to 1 plus 1 to the power of n, and that by binomial expansion sums over the indices k equal to 0 through n, n choose k times 1 to the k 
times 1 to the n minus k. And this sum over here is just n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 all the way through to plus n choose n. So that proves our identity in a third way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.